This is the VF9 from VinFast, and yeah, it's a beautiful looking car. Now, if you join us for the very first time, my name is Thundee E, and yes, I am gawking over the vehicle because I got to test drive it, and uh, this is the first time we're seeing the VF9 here in the United States. Now, if you join us for the first time, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, notification icon, so you can watch more videos like this. And I also want to thank VinFast for sponsoring this video. They reached out to me to ask, hey, would you like to check out the car, do a test drive, see how it is? I said, sure. So we flew out to LA, picked up the VF9, and we just had a few days to spend with the vehicle. Now, what's interesting about this car is that this is a three-row electric SUV. Not just an electric SUV, it's a luxury electric SUV. And it's got a lot of things packed into it from the design. And one of the things about this design I do like is that it doesn't feel uber futuristic. It doesn't feel electric retro or whatever you want to call this design. It just looks like a nice, good looking SUV. And sometimes that's what you want. I like that anyway. I think I personally like that design aesthetic. Now you can get the vehicle in a couple of colors, the five colors in total. And they do have stores you can actually go visit. We went to go check out the store in Irvine, in California. Very simple process. Again, you can also order your, your vehicles online too. So it's a very straightforward process, but they do have vehicles there. And we got to see one of the other vehicles two years ago. That was the VF8. We were invited to go to Vietnam to go check the vehicle out. And it was great to see the VF8 in, in its home soil driving around Hanoi with a VF8 and experiencing the vehicle. Now, fast forward now, uh, the VF8 is available here in the US. Uh, they've had some issues, they're working on those issues and they're applying some of those things they've learned to how the VF9 is actually gonna take shape. 10 years, 125,000 mile warranty, which is pretty high. And actually that's pretty cool. And also 10 years unlimited mileage on the battery as well. So if your battery drops below 70% in terms of just performance, you can go swap it out. That I do like. So you're going, okay, that's, that's cool. So what's the mileage? What do I get on this car? Um, you're looking at a range of about 291 miles on the uh, plus version and 330 miles on the eco version. Now, those are two versions you can pick. As I mentioned, they are multiple colors. Styling and design of this car really takes the cake here. Once you open the door, you're greeted with some very plush, soft vegan leather. I gotta tell you, those seats are comfortable. You know, they're heated seats, cool seats. Uh, you can also get a massage seat option with the plus trim, uh, which is very nice. Uh, steering wheel is also nice. There is no cluster in front of you, but it does have heads up display. I like that while driving, pretty cool. I think every car should have that, honestly. Um, and then you're greeted with this large display that can control everything in the car. Now that display module there is pretty responsive. You have quick access on the left-hand side, you know, to all the key features you need in the car. Of course, you can go in and change different drive modes if you want to go to eco mode, sports, that kind of stuff. Now, the vehicle supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is nice. So you can easily plug that and just use whatever fits you best. Something you'll find interesting, the drive shifter. Typically in the car, you either have a shifter like, you know, by the steering wheel or there's a knob or there's a slider or something like that. They are buttons. I don't know how I feel about it because it's the first time I've seen that in a vehicle, especially with the place. I know Hayato likes it. I, I'm, it's a bit mixed for me, but I definitely understand, you know, the feeling and the range of this. Now the interior extends more to the luxury side of the VF9, which is something that VinFast wants to showcase. I really have to give it to VinFast. You've got really comfortable chairs and also capturing chairs in the second row. These are nice. I, I can't stress to you how comfortable they are. Whether you're driving in front or sitting down here in the second row with the captain chairs, you've got massage features built into it, heated and cooled seats. Then you've got the center console here that gives you a lot of space. This wireless charging, there's two USB ports as well. And then in front of me here is also two more USB ports and one type A with 90 watt charging. Let's me charge my laptop in here which is pretty nice, so I can do work, stay comfortable, relax, and you know, someone else can drive me while I'm doing this, but wait a minute, I'm driving. Ah. I gotta say, the driving experience is really smooth. Uh, that air suspension really does a really good job, making you feel comfortable, nice to drive. 
Sorry, a little traffic here. We're in LA. Um, but I do like it, and I also like the lane assist. You can clearly see here on screen, my hands are off, but of course close to the wheel. Make sure you guys do that. Don't, don't stay away from the wheel, but it works out pretty well. And um, these are the kind of features that you know you definitely want in a vehicle like this while you're, while you're driving on the highway. So it's hands-free. Nah, nah, I'm just joking. It's, it's, it's not, but you can clearly see that the driving experience of the VF9 is one that is comfortable, you know, and that experience is shared across the, across the board. Um, whether you're sitting in the middle row or sitting in the back of the car, in the third row, very comfortable experience. I gotta give them that. Air suspensions in the car work really well. This is a large SUV. It's, it's a three row SUV. So it does take up a lot of space, especially when you're parking the car. So just be mindful about that. And um, the range uh, is pretty good for the amount of time I use the vehicle. So it's not a really good judge because I traveled in and I used the car for two and a half days and I really didn't need to charge it, but we still went ahead to go try out the charging experience. Now, cool thing about VinFast is that it supports pretty much all charging methods. Uh, we went to ChargePoint, we go to Electrify America. The car does have a rated charging speeds of 10 to 70% in 35 minutes, which is good allows you to go ahead and top off and you know move around now features of the vehicle it's it's an electric car which means there's usually a lot of quirky cool fun features around the car so you've got ambient lighting throughout the interior um, whether you're sitting in the front or the back you also have a spotlight when you open up the door uh, highlighting the vin pass logo or when you open up the car and then you do have hands-free access to the trunk where you can basically just kind of kick and raise your leg towards the bumper, the back of the car, and that opens up the trunk when you're carrying groceries or boxes or whatever you're putting in, in the back of your car, which is nice. Now there is a trunk, by the way, there is a trunk. It's not large, but it's a decent size to put like a backpack or something like that in there. Nothing too crazy, but the overall experience of the car was pretty nice. So, What's really cool about having all this space is that besides just loading stuff here, you can actually place car seats on all three rows. You've got top tethers for both the second row and the third row, which is pretty nice and cool. But this is a ton of space. I mean, like, check it out. I can come in, you can see me quite clearly. There's a lot of space here. You can put the second row down, have a surfboard if you're that kind of person. And what's cool, if we can come around and check this out is, We've got tie down tethers here. So whatever you're carrying, you can tie it down, place it. It's got like a rolling rack here for that. There's 110 volts. There's a power outlet here as well. USB ports uh, for the third row. Very nice. So with most three row SUVs, there's not a lot of space for somebody in my height. I'm 6'2", as you know, but you can clearly see I do have enough space here. Now say, Two grown adults my height, yes, definitely, comfortably in the third row, but three kids in the back, that should be no problem. I do like the space here. It's a bit on the higher side for your foot level. Also has a cup holder in the middle seat here, so you can actually place your drinks and refreshments. And it has its own climate control here for the third row, which is pretty nice. So, coupled with those chargers, I'm good to go. Now, the main question for you in this video I'm gonna pose is, is what kind of vehicle is good enough for you? If you're looking for a large electric SUV, maybe the VF9 might be your choice to go check out. They do have the VF8 as well, which we've covered. And again, I mentioned we saw that in Vietnam, but I suggest take a look at the cars, see what they have. If you are close to a showroom, go ahead and check it out, do a test drive. I will leave the links for you guys down below so you can see what they have. Experience VinFast. Yes, they're a young company, but they do have a rich heritage in Vietnam with a larger conglomerate group, which is nice to see. So it means they're not really going anywhere. And um, I think it would be a fun experience for people to check it out and see if it fits them. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.